So the sweet potato pies came, well, sweet potato casseroles came out so good, you guys. But what was best was the real conversations around the kitchen table. Like, isn't that what it's really about? It's about connecting to the next generation. It's about moving through and past the color of our skin and the differences in our background. And what we found today was that we had more in common than we had difference. Like, I'll never forget, Little T was like, so white people do this too? And I busted out laughing and I was like, of course we do, pumpkin. And she's like, oh, cool. And I said, see, we have more alike than we are different. Because the thing is, we're both Southern. We're both Southern girls. We're, we're both women. And, you know, even though there's an age difference, we're raised with the same cultural foods and the same cultural music and the same, you know, context to our sentences. And we speak the same language. And so we were able to bond on a different level. And that's what I pray for you, is that when you're watching the videos that I'm making for Thanksgiving, is that, yeah, you're learning, you know, maybe a little bit new about cooking, but maybe you're learning a little bit about connecting. So you guys will bless Thanksgiving. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning, welcome back to Sorky Bornstead. Girls, introduce yourselves. I'm Savannah. Pumpkin pies. So today we're gonna go one step further. We're gonna make a homemade green bean casserole hey, and we're gonna be making a sweet potato casserole. Hey, Kyler. Say hi, Kyler. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he liked being caught on camera, huh? So we're gonna get to cooking. We're all wearing our aprons, hands are washed. It's time to clean these sweet potatoes. Ooh, I got one of those. Um, like head aprons in my bathroom. Go look in my bathroom. Oh, if you look at my sink, look to the right, you'll see a whole like little basket. And they got those little head aprons. And we pour a little hair back with it. Oh, look at the dirt coming off those. Came straight out the ground. Oh, you're doing a good job, girl. We're just gonna wipe them off, and that way when we put them in the pot, we don't get so much dirt and like nastiness in the pot. Because we have so many recipes that we're going to be doing today, we split our workforce up. So we have Big T is working on doing the green bean casserole, while Little T works on getting sweet potatoes ready to put them into the pot over here that's starting to boil water. So the purpose of having young adults here to learn how to cook Thanksgiving dinner, you guys, one, idle hands with Dumb's Playground, two, teach kids how to cook and they feel like they have a little bit more control over their own lives. Now we gotta set the timer. Y'all know how to do it? For 30 minutes. Push the up arrow, hold it down. Just hold it down, there you go. Go down, keep going down, keep going down. Ex excellent. Press your kitchen timer one more time. There you go, sweetie, good job. So we decided to get creative. We put walnuts, we didn't have pecans, we put walnuts in a plastic bag, in the brown paper bag, and now we crush them. Let me see, did, they, did you crush them? Look at that, it really works. So we put them in a plastic bag and we put them in a brown paper bag because we knew the plastic bags were going bust. YouTube video. Like, like, you can you do can a Christmas vlog. You can do this. So, when we, so if y'all give us presents and we open it, that's a vlog. You're just showing them that we open it behind how the scenes. How we open it, how we feel about yeah, it, what we behind the scenes. But yeah. this, I'm so confused. But how do I let people we, know it's a vlog? You, so you do you your know, intro. You know, under, you know, under your, oh, pro, you wait. Talk, it's, you kind of too hard. <laughs> you know, <laughs> under your, um, under your thing, under your video, you got a script you can write, and you can say my daily vlog or my life vlog, or you can say me, Christmas my vlog, vlog with the children, one. my vlog with the children and stuff. Like, vlog. Y'all, I'm getting educated today. All right, so this just came out of the oven at 30 minute mark, looking beautiful. It is time to put two thirds cup more of the onions on top, put it back in the oven for another five minutes to brown that. And the ladies are peeling the sweet potatoes. 
so that we can start working on sweet potato casserole. Y'all really are doing a good job though. I mean, you, you really are. Like, that's very good. Look how good they did on this. And another thing I should put down in the comments is what should we make next? Oh, that's a good one. Y'all are good at this. And I also put in some um, more re videos requests for any other videos y'all would like to see us doing. That's right. Like Christmas videos, holiday Ooh, videos, I know. any type of video. We're going to make hot chocolate for Christmas. And we're going to make Christmas desserts together. Oh, I'm And coming. then I think, I think we should so make some like diet like like for diabetics yeah. and i think we should take those desserts up to the nursing home and we can show them how you make your herbs and yeah everything. we could do the herb videos but i think the three of us need to go up to the nursing homes yeah. and go up there and pass out to the desserts and hug the old people because they ain't got nobody yeah well, i used to do that but i don't know what happened but well it's hard to do it when you don't have nobody to take you yeah i mean yeah. you gotta think about that like you can't hold that against yourself I mean, y'all's living arrangements aren't exactly, like, the most stable. So, when you don't always know where you're going to be living next, you don't get to, like, make those kind of plans. But this year, we can make those plans. And how many people have been coming here off of YouTube? Off of YouTube? How many people watched the videos? Come, came here to your thing last Oh, last week? We had eight people that came, but those people came from, from Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Now, they watch us on YouTube, but they're Facebook so subscribers. So, you can tell me your location, so if they want to come? Mm-hmm. I have it. Like, if they go look us up on Facebook, they'll know exactly how to get to the farm. Starkey Farm. Starkey Farm. That's right. Go like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure and you hit, hit that, that bell. bell. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. <laughs> Three <laughs> eggs in the sweet potato bowl. And you already know where to put the um, shells at. We got our composting bowl over there. So it's three eggs, and then what comes next? Okay, we gotta find her the half a cup. She can use this while she's doing that. Yeah, we're gonna use the heavy whipping cream instead because I like cream. I like that heavy whipping cream. I think the taste is better. All right, sister, you need a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. So you gotta fill it up? Mm -mm, just halfway, because that's a solid one cup. So what uh -huh. she's gonna do is pour it halfway. Uh -huh. That is perfect. All right, what comes next, little sister? One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Very good. Look at you, girl. Thank God y'all can read. Did I tell y'all that none of the little boys in my class can read? Me too. Well, what are we going to do? You can't have a whole generation One of young men. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. You can't have a whole generation of young boys that can't read. How are they going to take care of their families? Right, and when they get older, how they going to teach their children stuff? That's right. How they going to read the Bible? Because the Bible is the only book in the whole world that's going to teach you to be free in your mind. Okay, then the next one is add one and a half cup of grant. No, no, not one and a half. Just half. Half cup granite sugar. Yep, granulated half a cup sugar. of granulated sugar. Now, you could substitute that for like sativa or any of those um, other sugar substitutes me i'm going that's with sugar? the sugar yeah girl that's real sugar <laughs> that's coffee sugar mm -hmm. well i just have it in a coffee mate oh so container you put sugar in. Mm -hmm. that way the ants and the roaches you know how it is in louisiana we get bugs mm -hmm. i want bugs with my sugar girl and sugar attracts you everything bugs up in the house? no that's why because i keep all my containers like you saw how my flour and stuff was in my refrigerator that's why i don't get bugs the next is a uh, half teaspoon salt Half a teaspoon. Okay. Yep, and we're gonna use sea salt again because real we we oh, learned yesterday salt. table salt is not real salt. So you're gonna want to use a sea salt, you can use a Redmond's from Hawaii. Yep, that one's from Hawaii. And then what we're gonna do the after next that. Next is oh you're going too fast. Yeah, you do that. She and okay. I are gonna melt this butter because we gotta have a quarter, quarter cup butter melt. Okay. okay can I melt yeah, so set that in the microwave. I'll open it for you. We're gonna set that up there on that little round thing. And we're gonna set the microwave for 15 seconds. You know how to do that? Oh, wait, wait, it says express, so hit clear. Oh, why is it doing that? Cook time, hit cook time. Now hit start. Yeah, and we're gonna start like that more time, but if you put too much time and you melt it too fast, you can burn it. All right, shut it and put it for 15 more seconds because it's not quite melted yet. 
Oh, you learn fast, girl. Good girl, smart girl. All right, so sister's over here. Getting the extra sugar oh yeah, girl, get it all, get every bit. All right, what's after the butter? The butter is. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Let me grab it though, it's gonna be hot. I don't want you to burn your Three hand. Oh my God, that's gonna be so hot. Nobody bump me, nobody bump me. Got hot butter, hot butter, hot butter. It's You're gonna mash that all together. So start slow with your masher and just kind of slowly press it down. Yeah, keep one hand on the bowl. Yeah, slide it up a little bit so you don't flip it out. Keep one hand on your bowl and then you're gonna smash it together. And what you're doing is prepping it for your sister to come back with the blender and blend it. So these two are usually fighting and I can contest. While they're cooking, there's no fighting. God, don't look at me like that. You know y'all always arguing. But you're not arguing today, huh? Y'all working together. Um, some of the sweet potatoes had like a green edge to them, and I think it's because they weren't fully cooked, but that's okay. Well, we're making this into pie. Or like fully developed, but no, it won't hurt us. Sweet potato casserole. Yeah, this is gonna be a casserole. It, good. it does taste good. It tastes like a pie. That's what it actually tastes like. We should put it in the uh, pocket. It's okay. That's why you gotta you got a thing on. So hold on to the bowl for. Hold on to the bowl for. I'm sorry. It is cold. The next thing we got to use is one fourth cup of all purpose. Well, you got to start right there. Wait, well, three say what it's for first. Say what you read. The, the topping is three tablespoons butter. Okay, so look right here. right here. Yep, but look right here. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three. Wait, so we got to right here. you so excited to use a knife. <laughs> cut right there. And don't cut all the way through because you'll cut the counter. So go about halfway. Ooh, I spit. All right, stop. Move that. Just Move break. your knife. There you go. Now break it. Like I wasn't bread. excited to use no knife. Yes, you were, girl. You've been asking to use a knife the whole time. Yeah, don't Dipper. Okay, now what's your name? Okay, and one fourth cup of raw purpose flour. Okay, so there's, there's the, get that little red cup right there for your sister. And I can pour it in. Dip in this bag with your little, little cup. Dip it in there. Yeah, yes, that's too much. That's too much. So look, yeah, there you go. Push them off. Push them off. Now pick it up. You like this or that's one? perfect. Hand that to sister. There you go. That is perfect. All right, now come over here to the sink one and toss your hands one underneath one there. Oh, is it hot? There you go. Yeah, because flour gets everywhere. We learned that yesterday. And it sticks too. Yeah, it does. One cup light brown sugar. So there's your one cup. There's your light brown sugar, and you just pour it in there. You see where the hole is? Good job. We might have to open this a little bit more. Just squeeze it out. There you go. Three years later. You need one cup? Is there one cup? No. Nope. No. Keep going. You almost there. There we go. There you go. Where's the clip? Now one look. Cup of hold brown, it. Light brown sugar. Hold it. Roll it. Roll it. And then clip it. Because all that's going to go back into the cabinet. Nope. Into the refrigerator. Oh, it keeps okay. the bugs off of it. Yeah. All right. Okay. One cup. Uh, Chop walnuts. Now, we're not going to put them yet. We're not going to put them yet because your casserole is going to have walnuts. And my casserole is not. So, we'll, when we're ready to put the, put them on, we'll do that. Can we now, can show them the, the things? Hold on. Now, we got to figure out what we got to do next. Okay, so the next step is... Okay, make the topping. Add flour, brown sugar to the mixing bowl. Add butter and cut in with a fork or pastry blender until well combined. And then sprinkle that over the potato mixture. So, what we have to do We're now ready to put this in the oven. Now, it's going to be in the oven for, tell me how long, girls. Okay, so it's supposed to be in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. All right, 35 to 40 minutes on 350 degrees. With the grip, 350. Now, if you notice, a few, uh, one side's got the walnuts, the other side doesn't. That's because, well, I don't have teeth. And it makes it very hard for me to eat anything with nuts, you guys. It really hurts. So think about people with dental issues and nut allergies when you're making these recipes. Yes, ma'am. Put that right there. Thank you. So we're going to slide this in the oven. 
and we're gonna show you what it looks like in just a second. But for right now, we're gonna tackle cleaning the kitchen. The girls back, and I wanna show y'all that even out in the country, our kids play basketball in the middle of the road. <laughs> watch, watch how cute they are though. The closer I get, they'll all move to the side. You ain't gotta tell them. We sent part of it home with the girls so they could share it with their family. And there is the green bean casserole. And I got the cabbage finished. So Thanksgiving is being prepped and slowly but surely. And you guys I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me as I prep for my Thanksgiving this year because it is my goal to cook as much as I can from homegrown, locally sourced ingredients completely from scratch as much as possible but again just having the girls here getting to connect on a different level with them made all the difference for this Thanksgiving because my daughters are in New Zealand I've got one son in Tampa and one in the next parish so whether or not I'd be able to have all my babies home for Thanksgiving you can't control that what you can control is how you make someone else's Thanksgiving thankful